Hey friends, it's your old pal SVH here. Happy New Year and uh, happy January 1st, 2021. Looking forward to exciting things in this new year and uh, putting the past year behind us and, and really using all of that we've learned um, and grown from to uh, really propel us into great things and new heights in 2021. So just wishing everybody a safe and happy New Year's Day and hope everybody gets a chance to kind of just sit back and kind of reflect and look at where you want to go and where you want to be in the new year. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and share today's daily nugget. Um, today's daily nugget comes from the Gayan from Hazrat Night Khan, which is also known as Notes from the Unstruck Music which I, I really love that. A lot of these little sayings and aphorisms, um, just uh, there's a lot of different things in here. There's prayers, there's different daily devotionals and some kind of one-liners and things like that. So uh, when I got up this morning and kind of looked through some different materials, trying to pick out what I wanted to, what was kind of calling to come out today, um, I picked up the guy on and when I flipped it open, my eye went right to this. So I'm gonna jump right in with uh, a little saying. This is. Um, under the the title of surahs. So these are little, um, surahs are kind of like, um, almost like little prayers, but they're they're more, you know, personable. They're just more little personal, you know, things that you say um, and recite to kind of remind yourself and to uh, kind of teach yourself some of these things that, uh, that we already know are hidden within us, right? So here we go. Today's Daily Nugget. It is the tongue of flame which speaketh the truth, not the tongue of flesh. It is the tongue of flame which speaketh the truth, not the tongue of flesh. So what does this really allude to? What is the tongue of flame? Uh, the tongue of flame really for for just lack of a better term is really just a, a tongue that is enlivened with the power of the Holy Spirit a spiritual tongue a tongue that talks from from the the depths of the soul um, from the divine um, you know one of the things that we really work on a lot in my path is attunement and attuning ourselves to you know the the masters and the uh, saints in our, our lineage and beyond, you know, anyone that uh, has inspired us or is an inspiring guide or teacher, um, you know, we work to, to really, um, to align ourselves with and attune to that energy so that uh, when, you know, when we share these things, you see me take a deep breath every time I do a, 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 one of these daily nuggets. Um, it's so that I can kind of get myself in alignment with the teaching so that when I give my commentary, it, it comes through a more pure channel um, where it's not my tongue. It's, the, it's you know, it's being, uh, my tongue is just basically an instrument to be used to share the message. Um, so that's what I think he's alluding to here when he says, not the tongue of flesh. Um, the tongue of flesh is just this flappy thing that, uh, that we got here that just, uh, you know, helps us to phonetically put things together and you know it's certainly useful in speech and in um in conveying a message and truth but the real truth comes from the soul and the spirit um uh, behind it the intention behind the words so the tongue of flame is uh is that uh that speech that's really enlivened with the holy spirit and um you know we do um in the sufi tradition we do what are called wazaif which are phrases or wazifa um, which are, are words or phrases that are, are mostly taken from the 99 names of God, um, the sacred holy names of God. And um, what we do is we go through these and, you know, pick things that, uh, that really kind of fit and we want to bring more of that quality into our, um, into our own being. So, um, for, for instance, um, in the healing work, we use Ya Shafi and Ya Kafi, which is the, the essentially the healer and the sustainer and um you know so using these terms and, and repeating these words brings more of that energy through you to where you can actually embody uh that healing presence and that sustaining presence so that's really kind of the idea so when we do those phrases and things definitely that's that's speaking more from a tongue of flame um than a tongue of flesh you know if the right intention is behind it 
Um, I'll also say this about the tongue of flame or tongue of fire. You'll find this in the Bible. Um, now I used to be, when I was a kid, I was a, a Bible scholar. I suppressed a lot of that um, when I got a little bit older because I just kind of walked away from it. Um, so my Bible acumen isn't quite what it used to be. So I apologize if I, if I misquote anything here. But uh, my understanding is um, th there is a biblical story uh, about the Pentecost um, when uh, Christ uh, came back or arose. Um, then he, there was a, a, a day of Pentecost where uh, the disciples um, were visited by the Holy Spirit and given this tongue of flame where um, they could speak the different languages um, that they didn't know and didn't have so they could communicate more openly and more united. Um, there's more to that story and, and that same story is talked about in the Scarlet Letter. They talk about the, uh, the tongue of flame or the tongues of flame. So yeah, I just, uh, these are just a couple of reflections that I had on this, but you know, really, really enlivening your speech with spirit. Um, and this is something that I work on. This is one of my own personal practices is, you know, I chant phrases that help me to really um, purify my speech and to really help me to speak from a more pure place. Uh, you know, because that's that's what I, I do. You know, if you're going to sing, if you're going to, um, you know, teach and guide and, and show any kind of leadership, you know, you really want to speak from a place that's pure. And you don't want to just speak from your fleshy tongue. You want to speak from that tongue of fire. You want to really speak the truth. And uh, so that's what I think. I think that's where we're at right here. And I think right now, um, you know, especially uh, a lot of us coming together in the community to you know, share truth and spread truth um, online. I think this is uh, this is it. We got a lot of tongues of fire talking right now, which is really good because we're going to burn up um, all of this, uh, the negativity and the lies and, you know, all the things that aren't true speech and true messages um, of hope. And, and we're going to give that message of hope and we're going to give that truth because uh, we need it and it's out there and it's within us. It's just a matter of, again, lifting the veils, um, really digging um, you know, it's when you, if you dig in the dirt and do dig and dig and dig and dig, you're going to have dirt, 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 dirt. Eventually you're going to strike water. Um, you know, so you have to dig to really bring that spring up from within. Um, and it's the same, you know, with, with truth. So you want to make sure that you're speaking truth and listening to people who speak truth. And, uh, that's the tongue of fire, baby. So I will read this one more time and I'll leave you with it so that you can make your own assessment of it and your own interpretation. But again, before I read this one more time, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to these. I uh, would like to encourage you to like and subscribe below. Hit the bell notification. Um, if you're watching this on the Super Channel, pop over to my YouTube um, channel, uh, Scott Von Helt, and uh, give me a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. That way, uh, make sure I get you this information no matter where it goes. So. Uh, with that said, here we go one more time. It is the tongue of flame which speaketh the truth, not the tongue of flesh. Happy New Year, friends. Peace and blessings. Amen.